Hi, this is Anise Kondoker from WCI Consulting, and today we're going to go over the concept of data cleansing using SSIS. Uh, no matter what type of organization you are, if you have anyone who interacts with your data, whether by manual input or manually intervening with automated inputs, you have potential for having some sort of dirty data. So there's always a need to have to cleanse your data. Uh, the example I'm going to go over with you guys today is if we have a call center rep who is manually entering information of a client into a database but not using the exact formatting that we need for reporting. We're going to use the AdventureWorks 2012 database which is uh, accessible to anyone for download and we're going to take a look at the person.address table. This table is where our hypothetical company is storing all of their client address information. You can see that we have a number of clients where we've got their address, city, state, etc. But we've got one call center rep, for example, who in the middle of all their data entry, they forget to capitalize a city on occasion, so we end up with data that is dirty, so to speak. So we can look that up by running a quick query, and we see that here in the city, the city name isn't capitalized, which doesn't seem like a big deal. We have the correct city, but in a real-world example, someone could type a city incorrectly. They could enter a number there by accident. So that causes the data that we have not to be accurate and doesn't help for reports. Even in a small example like this where a city name isn't capitalized, if you have certain filters on a report coming off of this data, a non-capitalized city could leave out records and you'd be missing eight clients, for example. So how do we want to address this to make sure that our data is good and accurate? We can use SSIS to interact with our data and clean up our data by running, for example, a nightly job. So I'm going to show you how. Here in SSIS, I'm using the 2012 version. I created a new package for this. We're going to create a job that will clean up our data. So we've got our control flow page. We're going to pull in a data flow object, and we're going to name this data cleanse task. So we know what kind of job we're doing. We're going to drag in an OADB source and rename it person underscore address so we know where we're pulling from. We need to connect to our database. So if you don't have a connection available, just create a new connection. And I've already got mine created. AdventureWorks 2012, so we're going to choose that one. Here we can access the table that we're looking for directly by choosing person.address, but I don't want to do that. I want to actually filter for just the cities, which I know have dirty data, where the city name is not capitalized, so instead of picking just the table, I can actually put in a SQL command that will give me the filters that I want. So here I'm doing this query uh, which selects from my table and I'm using a comparison uh, using a collate so I can see if the first letter of a city name is capitalized or not. Um, here we can preview the data and it shows us exactly what we're returning. Um, which is just eight records for this simple example. You can parse the query to make sure it's good. OK. And the way we're going to ensure that we're updating and cleansing our data correctly is we're going to compare against a table that uh, we know has all the cities written accurately. So I've got a mock table here 
uh, that has a sample of the cities, so not every single city that's in that database, but a sample of the cities where we have them spelled and formatted correctly the exact way we want. In a real world example, this would be every single city and possibly more information. We're going to reference this table in SSIS, use this to clean up our data and reload back into our table. So the way I'm going to do that is by using a fuzzy lookup. So the reason for a fuzzy lookup versus just a lookup is that we know that the data that we're comparing against isn't going to match exactly, so we want one that gives us a lookup against data that is similar. This fuzzy lookup allows us to compare against the person dot city table which has the accurate formatting of the cities and it'll return a similarity uh, index so to speak and show us how similar the actual data in our person dot address table is versus our correctly formatted city table. Here we make sure that our connection is correct and we're going to input the table that we're looking up against which is the city table. Then we need to join our reference table versus our lookup table. And we're going to do that based on city. So it's pretty simple. You just drag and drop and our lookup column is going to be and our output is going to be city name. So you see there that there is an error and that data spatial location was not supported. If we go back into it, it'll take out spatial location. The way you could address that if you wanted to is by doing a data conversion, which I'll actually show you here in just a second. <clears throat> so if we were to put this directly into our target database, it's not going to do anything. So we need to give it a command, and we need to make sure that our data matches up properly. So we're going to feed through a data conversion, and we're going to make sure that our city name which we're going to say, call it formatted city name, is in the same format as our target column. So we need to put that as a Unicode string. This is a pretty common thing that will throw an error if you're running SSIS jobs where formatting of an input doesn't meet target or an output doesn't meet a target. So the data conversion is used quite a bit. Now we're going to put this out into our target by using the OLEDB command. And this is a means of doing an update to a table. There's a couple of ways you can do an update on a table. This is one of the easier ways because it requires very little setup. In a future video, we'll cover inserts and updates in SSIS and go more into depth than that. We're going to rename this cleansed data for reference purposes. We're going to connect to our database. And in the component properties, we can, we can tell it exactly what we want it to do. So we want to take our inputs and use it as an update. And the nice thing about SSIS is that if you know SQL pretty well, you can just script directly in what it is that you want it to do. So we're going to put in a simple update statement saying to update the city where the address ID matches. The inputs are going to be used as parameters, so you put in a question mark and you map the columns that you're outputting as parameters and it will input those parameters into your update statement. So pretty simple. So we want to update the city as the formatted city and we're going to do that based on the address ID. We're going to put in a data viewer so that you can see what the data looks like before we put it into the table. And before we run it, this is what our table currently looks like. So 
So we've got this client's data and their cities are all currently lowercase. Now when we run this job, we'll hit the run. Our job is running. It picks up the eight records that we queried for out of our uh, source database. It performs the fuzzy lookup and here it shows us exactly what we're getting. So here's our query data where we've got uh, lowercase cities and then here's our data based on the lookup where we've got the cities written in uppercase. Based on the fuzzy lookup it's giving us similarity, confidence, indexes. So these are based on, you know, 100%. So it's saying the similarity is other than the case is 100% with 100% confidence. So this is a pretty simple example, but let's say instead of Austin with an I, we have Austin with an E. Our similarity may be 90% with 100% confidence. So the nice thing about the fuzzy lookup is that you can filter for what level of similarity you're willing to accept and then use that as part of your cleansing process. So we're going to go ahead and move forward and push the data through into our target. Here you can see that we pushed eight rows into our cleanse data and that should have been as an update. Let's see if that worked. There we go. The exact same clients. Now their city has been formatted correctly the way we want it up to our standard and we're good. So you can picture using this type of cleansing in a broader scope where you could correct incorrect email addresses. You could even use SSIS to do things such as merging duplicate records and where IDs are similar but off by a digit or something like that. So I found this very useful myself. Hopefully you do as well. Thank you.